The domain name system, DNS, is the phone book of the internet. It maps domain names, such as twitter.com, to their associated IP address. A domain name, such as twitter.com, can be split into three sections. A domain, such as Twitter. A top-level domain, such as .com or .co.uk. And a subdomain, if one is used, that is. Such as support, when used together, resulting in support.twitter.com, for example. Each domain name, including the subdomain or not, can have an associated IP lookup record. This means that going to support.twitter.com will often direct you to a completely different IP to twitter.com, despite being under the same domain. Let's investigate DNS further. In this simplified example, the client looks at the IP of twitter.com from the DNS server, much similar to looking at the phone number for a company in a phone book. This is the same as when you type a URL in the browser for a host your system doesn't already have the IP for, which will be stored in the browser or operating system cache. Following this request, the DNS server returns the IP for twitter.com, for which can be used in subsequent requests. Let's take a look at a lower level review of the DNS process. In this example, the client wants to know the IP of twitter.com. The client makes a lookup of twitter.com to the recursive DNS server. The recursive DNS server consults a root name server, which doesn't have a record of the IP domain pair, also known as an A record. As such, the root name server refers the recursive DNS server to ask the TLD or top level domain name server if that knows the IP of twitter.com. The recursive DNS asks the TLD name server it too doesn't know and refers the recursive DNS to twitter.com authoritative name server. The recursive DNS makes a request to twitter.com name server it has an A record and returns the IP for the associated domain name of twitter.com. The recursive DNS server then returns the associated IP to the client. The client then stores it in its DNS cache for some time and will use this lookup for subsequent requests. Now we know how DNS works at a basic level, let's see its usage with a web server. In this simplified example, the client looks up the IP of twitter.com from the DNS server and then uses that IP to connect to the associated web server. DNS hijacking is where a DNS server or its associated lookups are compromised as to allow an attacker to control the IP lookups of a domain, resulting in the victim who uses such lookups to be directed to a malicious system instead of the real one. In this case, the victim consults a malicious DNS server for the IP of Twitter. The malicious DNS server returns the IP to the malware hosting server instead of the real IP of Twitter. The victim then goes to that server where the server could be running a phishing or malware campaign. Now we have covered DNS, let's discuss another type of name lookup, Apache Virtual Host Routing. Virtual Host Routing will take the host header of the HTTP request and direct that to the namespace within the web server. The configuration files for this are stored in Etsy Apache 2 sites available, and they are enabled in Etsy Apache sites enabled. As seen on screen, the config file includes the server hostname. If the hostname in the HTTP header matches the hostname in the config, in this case, www.sequora.com, it will respond with the relevant content as per that namespace, in this case, www.html. Here's a quick animation of it in action. The client makes a request to the web server with the host header, www.sequora.com. The server matches the host header with the one in the config and thus issues content from www.html back to the client. Next, the same process occurs, but this time the host header refers to dev.sequora.com. The server then matches the host header with the one in the config and thus issues content from www dev back to the client. Congratulations, you're now one step closer to being a web hacker. Join me in my next episode, series, to learn more, develop, grow and become the best web hacker. Oh, and like and subscribe, that'd be super helpful. Thanks.